If you're wondering what the heck is TB4 or thymus and beta, this is the video for you. You're gonna walk away with uh, how it works, who might benefit from it, and who should not use thymus and beta for. So TB4 or thymus and beta is uh, a peptide that is secreted from the thymus gland. The thymus gland produces these peptides that really support immunity, recovery, and repair. Thymus and beta has been found to show an important role in protection, regeneration, and remodeling of damaged tissue. So I love using this peptide in anybody who has recently had a car accident, trauma, uh, or any sort of pain where they've had an impact uh, and their tissue is really remodeling. Think about athletes too, who are constantly damaging that tissue and needing to repair. So thymus and beta can be an awesome option for them. Thymus and beta is found in high concentrations in blood platelets, in the fluid uh, of the body uh, when you get wounded, that serous fluid, and other tissues of the body. It's really important uh, for protection, regeneration, and remodeling of injured or damaged tissue. So we use it in acute injury. So when somebody has a car accident, a bike accident, any sort of traumatic incident uh, where they have trauma to the tissue, to the body, to the muscle, and they need to repair faster, we use it post-surgery. So this is in my post-surgery uh, repair protocol along with BPC. Those two are an amazing synergistic combo. And then for patients who are athletes and are constantly subjecting their tissue to uh, repeated damage day in and day out and they need to repair faster, TV4 is an amazing molecule for that. So it really acts to reduce the amount of scar tissue in situations where somebody had a surgery and they're trying to, uh, you know, repair faster and not have that scar tissue, which essentially uh, becomes a fibrous band that can inhibit blood flow and cause future pain. And we really don't want uh, massive amounts of scar tissue to build up. So TB4 can also improve flexibility. Um, it has anti-inflammatory effects and really it belongs in this family of peptides. What peptides do are their signaling molecules. So it signals your body to produce more of these thymus peptides. Uh, but they're called thymusins. So we have thymusin alpha, thymusin beta. Thymusin beta is what we're talking about today. And thymusin beta uh, has a lot of function. So it modulates cell migration, how cells move in the body, angiogenesis. So that's the process of building new blood vessels. It's really important if you're a bodybuilder or if you're weight training and you want to really nourish and supply that new tissue, that new muscle mass, All right? And it plays a role in immune responses. So that's what that thymus gland is really important, thinking about COVID and everything happening in the world. Uh, we really need to make sure our thymus peptides are up to speed. So uh, TB4, of course, plays a role in tissue regeneration, and it also wakes up this immune response, which can lead to regeneration of those tissues because immunity is so involved in that healing process. Uh, thymus and beta-4 is not a growth factor, right? It's actually regulates actin, which is found in the muscles. So that actin and myosin uh, connection that allows your muscles to fire and power. Uh, what else? So TB4 uh, is one of the first to be upregulated when you have a wound. So if you get a big cut, TB4, your body naturally upregulates it. However, we can add in this peptide to increase that signaling process. Um, it can also improve inflammation, which we mentioned earlier. But what a lot of people have noticed is uh, improvements or calming of muscle spasms, as well as improvements in muscle tone, uh, improvements in recovery and tissue repair and flexibility as well as reduction of inflammation in the tissues of the joints post-injury, post-surgery. Uh, it can improve and increase endurance and strength uh, for endurance athletes, anybody who's training in the gym, weightlifters can be really helpful uh, for the training as well as the recovery. And some of the mechanisms of action that we talked through is it reduces inflammation, it downregulates those inflammatory cytokines uh, that we don't want high levels of. 
It also inhibits this activation of NF-kappa B, which is like a master uh, regulator of inflammation in the body, right? And uh, promotes cell migration. Uh, it also regulates F and G actin. So we talked about how the actin and myosin is how our muscles power. So it supports that, supports uh, VEGF, which is vascular endothelial growth factor, and that can be really supportive uh, for healthy new tissue. Uh, it also regenerates hair, or sorry, skin, heart, and nerve tissue. So I love using TB4. Uh, there's a couple different forms of it. You can use the injectable form, and that's a pretty high dose for about 20 days. Um, and typically, that is going to be, um, yeah, taken once every once every day for 20 days, along with BPC. You can do both injection or one injection in one capsule. Uh, the BPC capsules are better for GI healing, but they can also be used for joint healing, uh, post-surgery protocol. If injecting is out of the question, the capsule is better than nothing. So I recommend my patients uh, to use the thymus and beta capsule if they don't want to inject as an easier way. And I will definitely put a link down here where you can get that thymus and beta peptide uh, so you can start using that for active recovery and repair. But I love using this one uh, for anybody who reaches out to me, got in a pike accident or post-surgery, this is my go-to. So if that's you, uh, definitely you can read more about thymus and beta. I'll post more down below the video. And um, yeah, to find out more about peptides, if you enjoyed this video, you can hit like uh, and subscribe and definitely comment. If you have experience with TV4, I would love to hear it. If you look at the BPC, video. There's so many people who have shared their incredible stories uh, about their experience with BPC on my BPC video. So go check that out.